Yozora. All right, hey guys, we're in a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today we got a special guest. Bambino. Bambino, y'all know how we rockin'. So for the people that don't know, tell the people where you're from. Brownsville, Brooklyn. And Brownsville. how'd you get into music? Um, I've been into music, like my whole life type shit. Not like recording, but I've been love music type shit. So what's your like earliest memory? Like you remember going to the studio, your mom played music? My like, pops used you? to play music and shit. Like, Matter the smack DVDs, I used to watch all those and shit. And I was my favorite rapper, 50 Cent, well, growing up. So 50, 50 Cent, not your favorite no more? Nah, he's <laughs> still one of the, he just, he don't rap, like, you know what I'm saying? So who's one of your favorites right now? Um, uh, so few, like, you know, I fuck with Lil Baby, Dirk, Polo G, you know, a couple niggas doing their thing. Young boy. Young boy, okay, 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 so, when did you first, first ever go to the studio? Um, and what was the first song you made? I've been going to the studio since like 2000, but like 2012, 2013. I wasn't getting on tracks, but like my first song was in 2015. I mean, my first song in 2015. All right, so the first song you made was called what? Um, it was some shit called With It. It was called With It. Some shit called With It. Is it still out now? People can still stream that, or that's gone? Nah, it's still out here. So, um, so, uh, from when you first started making music to now, how do you feel like you improved musically? Um, I really learned how to make music and learn how to do different shit, like, while I'm in the studio. When I first started rapping and started getting lit and shit, those were my first few tracks and shit I ever made, so I was just going in there and just putting shit together and shit. Now I really know what I'm doing. So do you have, like, a favorite song that you made? Um... Uh, No? Nah, I don't got a favorite one. What? I like Alerta Guffin, though, but I don't got a favorite one. I, I don't got a favorite favorite. Oh, uh, if I do, y'all don't know, it's unreleased. So it's unreleased. So some new shit, yeah. So you have a lot of unreleased Yeah, so yeah, shit come. like that, yeah. Okay, Got okay, projects okay. and shit on the way. So how would you describe your sound? Um, it's everything, like, I, I make, like, music, like, the turn up to type shit. So, like, like club? I went, yeah, like... Not club, but it's like street. Like, I don't know what the word for. You could say drill, but you it's have more to than call that. It a word. It's more than you that. You can't think of a word yet? Immaculate. <laughs> I make immaculate music. Okay, okay, okay. Facts. So people say you started drill. Well, you say you started drill too. Some people say you did too. What, mm. what do you think? I don't really say. I just go, people, people ask me, and I just go with my honest opinion, but people keep saying it. Well, they say other people, but a lot of people say me, so. If you feel that way, you feel that way. That's how I look at it. I really don't, you know what I'm saying? It's not a big deal. But it's history, though. Y'all know what's up. Y'all know what started this shit. <laughs> I was about to say, but you was one of the first two get signed. I was. I was. I was. <laughs> so you saying that what I was saying? I'm just that. saying I was. You know, stop putting me in honorable mentions because I'm not, I'm that guy. But that's it. I don't want to keep dwelling on it. It's, I've been doing all interviews and shit. They talking about that shit. But y'all know who it is. Y'all know who the king of the drill shit is. Brooklyn shit. So, Everybody keep doing their thing, though. Y'all know what's up. I'm about to say, so right now, the drill Mount Rushmore is trending. Yeah. So, like, who would be the other three people? I know you'll put yourself. You had to put another three people that you feel like super impacted drill. Who would be the other three, you would say? Money Mills. Dada Curly Side. So you, Money Mills, Dog, Curse Sav. That's it, gang, gang, gang. <laughs> that, that one song right there. Yeah, gosh. Okay. Okay, but since then to now, you switched up your flow. You trying out different beats. Yeah. So, so what, um, what inspired you to start doing that? Um, Basically just leveling up, growing up, doing different things in the studio. Like just learning and building my shit. Like I just for me, tapped in with, with the right people. Now I'm on the right track. I'm doing what I gotta do. Different beats, all different types of shit. A lot of shit coming though. I just gonna see. So are you managed or are you still independent? Um, I gotta manage. I'm managing shit, but I'm independent though. So you're not with a label, but you do yeah, have a manager. Yeah, definitely. Okay, okay. So are you looking to be signed again? Was that a good experience? Um, or? 
Yeah, like there's a lot of shit in the works. I ain't going I'm not looking, like looking, but people's on the line, you know, all this shit going on. Like a lot of shit going on. So you're not against turning down a deal? Nah, if it's right, we're gonna do the right thing. Shout okay. out to Atlanta too though, you know. <laughs> we made okay. we, we made money. So being that you signed so young, was there any regrets? Nah, everything a lesson, I don't know. Cause niggas wasn't doing what I was doing, so I was learning. I was learning like while they was doing whatever they was doing, I was in the industry doing when the doors when niggas talking, like just regardless picking up game from all different types of people. So now it's like we all still the same age, still type of shit, but I got different knowledge than certain people. Well, everybody learning in their own way, like everybody path different. So nah. Okay, cause a lot of people are against signing deals so young. That's why I asked like, yeah, I don't was know. it a plus or? I don't know, cause niggas ain't doing nothing else. Like, We'll be on the block. A lot of niggas ain't rapping or they making illegal ways to make bread. So that's legal money right there. I don't know. But I've been was, you know what I'm saying, before I even got signed, I've been was doing shows and shit in bread. So that's probably what they mean. But it's it, it's all, it's like every label different. So whatever situation you're in, if you need it, you need it. If you want to do what you got to do, if they're giving you free leverage, shit like that. So it just all depends on what they trying to offer. Yeah. Okay, so... How do you deal with internet trolls? Because you seem to have a lot of those. No, I don't know, because I don't even pay attention. Like, even at first when we did the comedy shit, I don't even be reading them shit. So I don't really be paying attention to niggas. And when I'm outside... It's never the same. Yeah, energy. nothing. I never, like, you know what I'm saying? Never say never, but I never, nobody ever did nothing to me. So, and I've been in fake lit for a few years, so niggas know what's going on. All right, so that never happened, but you are in, I want to say, quote unquote, rap beef. So do you feel like that helps or hurts the artist's career? I don't know. I don't got no rap beef for nobody. I don't be well, rap beef. Well, not now, but... Yeah, I don't rap beef. But do you feel like that helped or hurted your career? It, de it depends if... Well, or mine or people... Both. Um... So it depends. Like, when I had a little rap beef with 600 Breezy and shit, some of my shows got stopped, but that's regular. So you wouldn't advise that to anybody? Yeah, if you know what I'm saying. Like, nah. So don't you, rap beef, dude. You know what I'm saying? If you want that, you want that. I was gonna say, so you being there, that you've been there, done that. What advice would you give an upcoming artist? Cause it seems like a lot of artists are like trying to this now. So you um, been there, done that. What could never you float your boat. You doing what you doing, and that shit getting your numbers and shit. Do what you gotta do. As I'm saying, everybody on uh, path is different. So if a nigga dissing, like you see them Florida niggas in Florida, young and ace, fully or they dissing each other, they getting lit, they making hit songs dissing. So whatever you do, do what you gotta do. But that's just not what I do. Okay. Even if, you know, I respond, but I don't this. Okay, so what what journey are you trying to go to moving forward? So you trying to like you moving off the drill? What yeah. lane would you say you about to get into now, or you want people to see? What I said? Um, just everything. Like, I'm a real artist, so just everything I got coming. All different type of music. I'm gonna always make drill though, but it's just everything. It's a whole lot. I just really showed them the drill tracks. The tracks I really dropped was just drill for real. I didn't really dropped no projects, so. Y'all gotta really see what's going on, what I got to offer, all types of shit. Okay, so as you've been working, I'm sure you get a lot of love from overseas and other yeah. areas. So what's some places you could shout out that you see a lot of your fans are from? Um, I see UK and my shit, Canada. Um, as far as the states, like Boston and shit, fuck with me, Connecticut. The whole tri-state area, I can't really just single out one. Yeah. But a lot of numbers up there. The Bronx, too, when I look. Bronx the Bronx is really on that shit. I get a lot of views from the Bronx. Shout out to Bronx. Okay, okay. So moving forward, like, what is something on your bucket list to accomplish being an artist from New York specifically? Um, just keep getting money, get richer. Put, What's that? Because you did a lot at a young yeah, age. Yeah, put, so. put, put, put a lot of more New York artists on. Just the whole New York take over the game type shit, but we on that path type shit. So you know? speaking of putting New York artists on, like, who's some artists you listening to? Um, from New York? Yeah. Um. Or you see, artists you see that's working. You don't gotta be listening to them, but artists yeah. you see that's working. I see a few artists working that's doing anything. Um, Brooklyn, Queens, Harlem, Brooklyn, all Queens, over. Brooklyn, Queens, um, <laughs> shout out my boy, shout out my boy. Shout out Free Money Mills, y'all know what's going on. Free Money Mills, shout out my boy Ski, feel me? Shout out my boy Bugs out in Harlem doing his thing. That's it. Couple guys I bumped 
I bump everybody. Chill sour, the chill rappers. You know, that's it. Yeah, so um, you have any uh, collabs on the way? Um, nah, I don't got no collabs. So, shame me, shame me for right now. So, so we look for a project 2021 or? Yeah, I'm definitely dropping a project. Probably the end of this year, most likely. But I'm dropping singles right now. Singles right now. Yeah. Right, so, what type of vibe do you need in the studio? Like, how do you? What's the energy you need to record? Um, just my Gatorade. That's that. That's that za. It's that gumbo. You know, shit like that. I like good stuff. So, being that you've been in the industry and learning it as you've been going, um, what advice would you give an upcoming artist that's like just starting that path to? Become an artist. Um, just find your lane and uh, stay consistent with it. Like keep dropping type shit. Keep on uh, feeding your fans and shit. Interact with your fans. Be on the internet. There's a whole lot of ways now. TikTok and shit. So just attack all platforms. So you have you on TikTok? Yeah, my shit going up right now. I just made my shit last week. So people like are against TikTok. They feel like it's way too commercial. Like, what do you think about that? Yeah, I don't know. I'm blocking that shit already. But I got like. 300,000 likes on that shit. I'm going crazy on that shit. That shit, I fuck with TikTok though. They just gotta stop blocking me. I don't know about everybody else. Just stop blocking me. We could be cool. No, I'm. Top. That and also, like, um, people say, like, you know, the lyrics don't matter no more. It's all about the beat. What you mean, oh, like, with TikTok going viral? Yeah, like a lot of the songs that go crazy on there. Yeah, it'd be like, I don't songs. know, some, some songs be good, but it's just. I don't know. Some songs it is like I right, catch you. It's for the people, so you gotta gravitate. That's what they like. That's what the money has. So you better do it. Okay. So um, do you plan on starting your own label, or you wanna keep dropping singles, or you? Just yeah, definitely. To? Yeah, I already my own label already here. Like I already got that stamp. But as far as I don't gotta buy under me right now. But I'm gonna do that though. Once once I get where I need to be, type shit. So you definitely plan to you know start a label and sign artists one day. Yeah, yeah. We're going to go up. We're going to the top. Okay, okay. And what would, what would an artist have to have, or what would an artist need to have for you to be looking at them? Um, They own style, creativity, shit like that. Stuff like that? Yeah. Okay. So you said a lot of singles is coming. A project is definitely coming in 2021. Mm-hmm. Um, anything else? Um, um, free money mills, free freshy rose money on the way, they on the countdown. Fleet team, we here, y'all know what's going on. And, um, Shout out to Good Town. How about that? Yeah, tell people where to find you. Where to find um, you. Bambino Fleet team on everything. B A M B I N O F L E E T E A M on everything. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever you want to find me. Only fans. So yeah, only fans are job too, y'all know what's going on. Said, Go up, that like shit just touched 100K. Beatbox had 100K. Everything going up. New video on the way. We just going stupid. Clip out. So you're going to drop every, every month? Yeah, I'm dropping. <laughs> okay. I ain't never seen me drop like this, but we ain't even going to talk. This is, this is what it is. Y'all going to see me. Uh, I ain't with all that talking stuff.